Привет. Хвосты. Канд. Фай. Малышка, thank you so much, Mount Olympus, uh, for inviting me to this amazing event, uh, TEDx Youth. I really got inspired the moment I entered and I saw my young, talented musicians welcoming us. And uh, I think that is where the change comes. So the theme was change, catalyst for change. Uh, so I come from a background uh, where in my family, everybody was a doctor. Uh, renowned doctors, medical family from great, great, great grandfather. So it was generations and generations of people in medical. And when I grew up and I was in sixth grade, the first thing I learned was, what do you want to become? I said, I want to become a doctor. And that's what I learned. In 11th, all my coachings and classes were focusing on being a doctor. 12th, I passed out with biology. And we give attempts for those entrance examinations that time. I got selected in one of the colleges in Uttar Pradesh and I got admitted and the first seven days I ran out of there. I came back. I said, no, I don't think this is what I want. I was a black sheep of the family because uh, imagine and that time, my time, today, so you get chances to do what you want but that time it was like a tradition coming on. And uh, I said, let's break the ice. And I just joined a master's program in computer science. First three months and it became my love. It became my passion. And I mastered what? 42 languages. I started a small technology company and uh, I was doing good with my technology setup. I was working on various technologies that time when people were uh, educated how to get introduced to a computer. So this story I'm telling you is 91, 92. Internet was just seeping in and internet was paid. And then uh, the first instance of my life happened, which I will call as the trigger point. A law enforcement officer came to my office. I was running a small setup of technology, education and software solutions. And this officer came with an expectation. His expectation was there has been a crime. And then with the early stages of 2004, where people got introduced on internet with a social networking site called Orkut. And there was a crime and a girl, young girl, a college girl, not a teen girl, but a college girl, was getting abused online. And uh, they said, Mr. Tanvin, can you track him? And I think I took, what, more than 2-3 minutes to track that person with my networking knowledge. And that's it. There were two triggers. One, my law enforcement needed it. Two, children need to be educated how to be safe online. And then in my own home city from 2004 to 2008, four years, I started going to schools voluntarily and start teaching them the basics of do's and don'ts of internet. And I used to call it safe surfing. And I started working with NDS, that is law enforcement officer. I was... One of the key points starting the first cyber cell for Uttar Pradesh police in Agra in 2008. And that was my jet moment. And where the whole country recognized me. And I got a project from government of India to go and educate the children. In one year, I educated 1800 schools, 63 cities and almost 21 states in one year. And the figure, the figure I touched was two and a half lakh children. And when I interacted with my young kids, this was in 2008-9-10, the project was called Safe Surfing, sponsored by Government of India, Nixie. It was a free of cost thing. And uh, we were doing it free for schools. And in a country where aged people, parents were learning technology from kids. So it was my mission to educate my children. Rest is history. Now I work with 17 states. I am a non-European expert with European Commission. I got... Uh, Acknowledged by UN, I got acknowledged by all state police. I've solved many big cases for which I've been recognized by CBI, by UP police, by Haryana police and various agencies. But during this journey, now what I realize and what I'm doing, let me tell you, I am talking to my children on cyber hygiene. I am talking to my children and adults about digital quotient. In a digital India like we are in right now, 
we are uh, having an average of 5,500 cyber complaints per day. And that's not a single day where people are losing their hard-earned money, where my children are becoming addicted to social media, their mindset is changing, they are getting addicted to some violent games, they are getting exposed to content which is not age-appropriate. So I get sh shocked when I go to a school and a fourth grader comes and tells me that I play a game called COD. I thought he's saying cash on delivery, but it was Call of Duty. And when I asked what is the age rating for the game, the game was 17 plus. And her mother quietly prompted, Mr. Tandon, he plays like a pro. And that was shocking for me. A nine-year-old child consuming content which is not meant for his age. And that is what is now I do. My mission is to travel across the country. Today I have figured what? I think 7 million kids know me now. I've been to more than 30, 40,000 schools in the country and colleges. And uh, I have only two missions in my life. One, one to educate my children and to ask, tell them how to have a balanced digital diet. I'm using a word, balanced digital diet. I'm not against technology. Technology is there and it is going to grow. I want ethics to be more stronger here now. I can use social media. I have some wonderful content creators who are influencing people in a positive direction. But at the end of the day, I see such content which is not good. We recently in Haryana police, we have busted so many uh, crimes where negative influencers are spreading crime, spreading applications which are illegal. So I think balanced digital diet is important. Digital quotient is important. And also, you should harness the technology for the best of your use, not get harnessed by the technology. So there is AI, there is deep fake, there are challenges we are facing. And recently what we have seen in the world with Ukraine and Russia and now Israel and Iran and those pager blasting in the pockets. This has told us that yes, technology can be misused badly. So I want to come on the ethics side of it. Strong. And I have done that change. I'm very happy to share with you, standing here in Gurugram only, in 2012, with Haryana Police and Gurugram, we started an initiative. It was called GPCSSI, Gurugram Police Cyber Security Summer Internship. Today, it is a flagship program. We have uh, successfully conducted 11 years of it, in which we bring students across the country and we bring in the cyber ambassador and cyber warrior inside them. We train them free of cost. The best experts of the country and my Haryana police officers, they train them. And just to share with you the, the impact, we have received the uh, Scott Gold Governance Award for this initiative. And also, and also, brilliant children who have been through our internship are today serving the nation at a wonderful position. So whether it has been my intern in 2014, 16, 17, 18 or the recent 2024 which ended in uh, July 2024, two of my interns have been listed on the Government of India website for finding a very critical bug in their uh, so-called websites. So that change is coming in and I think uh, we are all now digital citizens, we are netizens. Our communication is online, our money is online, our day-to-day, uh, uh, -day, what I say, uh, IOTs, whether I look at my home, my car, my fast tag, everything is wired and connected to the internet. So I think in today's world, uh, children and the adults who are sitting and listening to me, it's very important for you to have a positive cyber hygiene to protect yourself from these threats which are lurking. Recently. Just because of a fake spam call. Now, this is a, a negative impact of technology. I'm giving an example. Recently, a lady, she's 59 years old, a teacher. She got a fake spam call, an imposter calling himself to be a police officer. And the lady picked up the call. That person had all her personal information. Now, that makes that call very legitimate. I give a random call. Hello. I'm calling from bank, give me your OTP. You will think, Arik, it's a spam call. But now I call, hello, is this Miss Man, Miss Monica? Bule, yes. Is this your phone number? Bule, yes. Is this your Aadhaar number? Bule, yes. You stay here. This is your permanent address. 
she says yes and now i start talking to her so she will think that the call is legitimate this poor lady got a call where is your daughter are you she is in bombay doing some mba well yes we have arrested her in a sex extortion case she has been uh, we have done a raid and this girl has been arrested hello pande bring that girl sitting there let us speak to the mother and now in her voice now that is where technology becomes a weapon somebody used ai to clone her voice and the caller said hello mama please save me she got 10 calls in 15 minutes the last call she attended was you have to pay 1 lakh rupees otherwise we leak the private videos of your daughter aq zero mental quotient zero the number started with plus 92 Now plus nine two. Everybody should know that it is not from India. It is a a Pakistan number. But she could only listen to the words. She could connect to the data, and she could see the picture of the police officer. The lady is no more. She suffered an immediate cardiac arrest, and she is no more. So now, when I see this happening, so it's very important for me that the mental health has to be balanced. I am not against technology. Australia. they planned and they have stopped in uh, talking in with the law in, uh, law and the ministry to ban social media for minors florida has already passed the law and they have banned social media for minors and when i go to school and i meet my young children they only they will only say i will not say to them are you addicted sir yes i am addicted to games i am addicted to snapchat i am addicted to discord they will take these names and what are you doing then god knows you know what is happening to my children a new term i will be using here i don't know whether you heard this word or not i realize it myself i did an online shopping when i was coming here in the morning something very urgent i wanted to buy and the shopping site has sent me a six digit otp on my phone i had to leave the shopping application go to my sms and read that six digit i came back and i forgot I could not remember a six digit number. Please answer me is it happening to all of us here? Do you know what we call it? Digital dementia. What do we call it? The left side of my brain which is controlled by the technology is too over stimulated with the dopamine and oxytocin and when the right side which is meant for concentration is becoming under developed 15 years back i remembered 100 phone numbers because i used to write them in the diary and i used to dial them every day with the keypad today i don't even remember my wife's number hot dial siri call wife at time siri also asked which wife no 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 because my phone book has 100 friends number and i have saved it as amit's wife vikas wife so don't take me otherwise please but the point is we are so dependent to technology that we are using here and i call it digital dementia and it really scares me when children come up to me and say i am having depression i am having anxiety i am having panic attack and now these words i can relate to why over indulgence of screen time is causing that so i need a balance i don't say no to technology children want to play game play game you want to be on social media be there but there should be a balance between a human mind and your digital quotient and digital diet and i think that is the need of the hour because the way we are getting dependent on everything and the way people like a ceo in an it company he lost what uh, 2.3 crores in a digital arrest scam a recent case to my gurugram cyber cell where a educated businessman downloaded a fake application of a share trading app and he could not make out whether it is real or fake so dq rakshitandan.com or rakshitondon.com in passport india.gov.in or passport-seva.in there is a difference and that difference will only come when your dq will be strong so today if i am a digital citizen my dq should be strong and I, this is the change i want and i want when i love when i see my young kids playing sports instruments art culture i love it and uh, and they know how to balance their uh, what you call it digital diet and that is the change i would like to bring and i think that is what i've been doing and i'll keep on doing so be cyber surakshit with rakshit thank you so much for having me namaskar
they shoot.